Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV. I'm excited to spend a few minutes with you today walking around a 2023 mid-bunk Eagle floor plan. This guy's a 355 MBQS, that's mid-bunk quad slide. I'd say this is my favorite mid-bunk floor plan of all of Jayco's fifth wheels, and I'll show you why in just a second. Before we get started though, I'd like to point out my three favorite changes to the Eagle fifth wheels in 2023. So let's get started. Number one, in 2023, we have a security camera option. They all come security camera prepped, but we have a security camera on this one. Number two, there are shutoff valves at every sink location, so it makes it easy to do maintenance if you ever need to. And number three, finally, there are smart TVs everywhere. In the living room, and the bedroom everywhere. Okay, let's walk around on the outside of this guy. We're right at 13,200 pounds, right at 42 feet long. It's not a small trailer, but remember we have that mid office, mid bunk floor plan, which is really popular. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Let's walk around on the outside though, and I'll point out some neat features of this floor plan. Some of these will be consistent with the last year or two. Some of them will be modified ever so slightly. Now we have motion sensor lights in here that come on just when you break the plane here. So if your hands are full of stuff, you can uh, see what you're doing in here with all this nice clean storage. Now I love this for a couple reasons. It's clean storage. We have insulation up here. Not all manufacturers do that. And there's this sort of diamond plating stuff, which is great because this helps keep stuff from sliding around and it's a really tough material. You see this right here. This is a platform for our griddle assembly, which will fit in the back. And I'll point that out to you in a minute. Now we've got, this guy is gen prepped. So I have a propane bottle here. I've got more propane on the other side. I'll point those out. Speaking of gen prep, if we open up this compartment here, you can see the wiring here. So if you want to add a generator uh, here prior to purchase, we can add that for you. You can add it later. If you opt not to, you get just that much more storage in there. Battery compartment over on this side. Sneaking around to what I call the utility side of the unit, which is where all the hookups and everything are. This will reveal our other propane bottle. And then our sort of control center here. So again, we have motion sensor lights here on the opposite side. Over here, you can see our auto level controls. Now I can control the leveling from that little touch pad. I can do it from the touchpad inside the coach and finally I can use my phone by putting the app on my phone to do all that as well. Now in here, I always like how clean this is on a Jayco. It's not always uh, intuitive with some manufacturers, but it is Jayco. Just follow the color codes here on this little guide and it'll tell you how to set these up depending on if you're filling your fresh water tank, sanitizing it, dry camping, which is essentially you're camping out where there are no hookups. So that makes that uh, easy to do and follow. We have a hot and cold quick connect right up here so you can spray off those sandy feet at the beach. Bypass your water heater uh, when it's time to winterize the coach. And then of course your uh, holding tank valves down here labeled and we can route the hoses and so on up through there. Now this unit's got a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater right here. You can see it's been winterized because the anode rod is sitting outside here. For a furnace vent right there. Now all the walls on all the Eagles are vacuum bonded. 144 tons of pressure for 16 minutes virtually eliminates the possibility that this wall's gonna become delaminated over the lifetime of the coach. Here's something else I wanna point out. These slide mechanisms are Schwintech brand. These are the same slide mechanisms that appear in the very ultra high-end Tiffin motorhomes, class A coaches. Our techs like these for two reasons. They don't break very often, and if they ever do have an issue, they're super easy to troubleshoot. So, quality, thumbs up on that. Now we got a quad slide. We got two slides on this side and two on the other have our 50 amp power cord right here in the middle. And then uh, behind this door, 
reveals our residential refrigerator. So if you ever need to access this for service, uh, you can do that without having to pull the refrigerator into the inside of the coach. You can get to the business part of it right here with this access panel on the outside. Coming around to the back, we have a ladder to access uh, the top of the coach. You can see that we've already got cameras on the back as well as the sides. Now this is standard in 2023 as the towing package. So we have a 3,000 pound weight capacity for towing a small boat, a uh, four-wheeler, that kind of thing. It's a two-inch receiver, so you can put a little platform back here for firewood, maybe your big green egg or something like that back here for extra cargo carrying space. Now, coming around to what I call the fun side of the trailer, this is where all the fun stuff happens. This is what's cool. I have an awning on this slide. I have an awning that goes all the way from here to the front of the coach. We're bumping up against 30 feet of awning coverage on the fun side of the unit. This is where the campfire is. This is where the picnic table is. Something to think about is how much of the real estate on the fun side is being taken up by slides. Slides really open up the interior living part of a unit. But when you push them out, they're also taking up valuable space on your patio side. I have one slide here and I stand corrected. I said that there were two on the other side, two here. We've got three slides on the other side, and one here. So I still have a lot of patio space up here because I don't have a slide coming out on this portion. Is that reason enough to buy or not buy a coach just because where the slides are oriented? Probably not, but something to think about. I do like it when there's not a bunch of slides or two big slides that take up a lot of your patio space on this side of the coach. Now, open up this to reveal a little drink refrigerator, which is basically a dorm size refrigerator. And then a utility drawer. I have power in here, light switches, and USB ports there as well. Now right below here, this is what Jayco calls a J port. It's just a little receiver thing in which you put this arm and the platform for your griddle. And then there's propane quick connect under there. So we have a little outdoor kitchen thing going on here. Here's your spray port on this side. That's also controlled by the hot and cold on the utility bay that we looked at just a minute ago. So I can be spraying off things over here, including dirty dishes and stuff. I would suggest putting a big basin over here with that hose and you can hose out, you know, dirty dishes and that kind of thing. So that's real handy. Now these steps are standard, these Moride step above. We got a four riser step assembly here. Now what's neat about these is, well, a lot. They're sturdy going in and out of the coach, but they're super easy to deploy and they're not heavy at all. It's not going to come bonk you on the head because it's got a little resistance here. Each one of these legs is adjustable easily by pushing on this tab and moving them in and out. Push it in to stow it for travel. Pull it down to deploy it when you get to your campsite. All right, that's outside. Let's look inside. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 355, and I like this as personally my favorite mid-office, mid-bump plan, and I'll tell you why. On the North Point and the Pinnacle versions of this, the door into the bunk room or the office space is right here. And while that's kind of handy, it's also inconvenient in that you lose all of this cabinet area and this coffee bar, which you gain on this floor plan. The door to that bunk area and office is around this side on the Eagle 355. On both the North Point 377 and the Pinnacle 37 MDQS, the door is right here. And then again, you lose some of this cabinet storage area. Other than that, these are very similar floor plans between the Pinnacle, North Point, um, and Eagle lines. Personal favorite, you can be the, be the deciding factor. In fact, let's have a vote, shall we? Drop a comment below and let me know if you like this or if you'd rather have the door here going into the office slash bunk area. So I have an island here in this galley area, a residential refrigerator, 21 cubic foot with ice and water in the door. Uh, the appliance package is gonna be consistent with 2022 three burner cooktop here 
with a knife rack in the back, which is real handy. There's your backsplash. I have backlit controls here. Same oven that you've seen in the last year or two, a Furion brand oven and storage below. You can see that's our teak cutting board and here's your strainer for the sink up here. Love the refrigerator, so it's Whirlpool brand. This is, you can go buy this same exact refrigerator at a big box store this afternoon. It's a residential refrigerator. If you're not familiar with residential fridges in RVs, this is running off the batteries, i.e. your inverter when you're going down the road to supply household current to this. Turn the truck off, go into Cracker Barrel and eat lunch. It continues to run from inverted power. More about that if you want to call us and I'll go into that deeper. But basically this guy's running all the time. So we have our nice coffee bar behind here. Nice amount of storage up here on top as well as a bay of drawers below. This is always true with Jayco. You have full extension drawer glides. These are ball bearing drawer glides. And always on every trim line with Jayco, the drawer fronts and door fronts are going to be solid maple. And the styles are all pocket screwed and glued together. This is neat. This is a little, basically can be either a coat closet like that, or drop this down as a shelf and use it for pantry storage. And then we've got some more storage over that as well. Now moving around to our island, uh, we have uh, what we call the tower of power. <laughs> okay, so we have household current, uh, USB and USB-C, which is a popular uh, option on a lot of electronics, including my Android phone here. Now see this little symbol here? That means if I put my phone on it, it's going to convert to wireless charging. It seems like it's always 86% when we do these videos, Brian. I kind of, we should do, a, we should do a test on that. Anyway, handy to drop that on there and charge. Now we have a stainless steel double basin sink with a high rise faucet. All of the fixtures in 2023 are going to be this matte black. Underneath here, you can see I have a five gallon water jug right there. That water jug is supplying the water here in the island. So we know we're drinking and cooking uh, purified water, not RV park water, which is sometimes not the best. Now remember, all the water that's coming into the coach is getting filtered through the whole house filter out there anyway. But still, to be safe, you know you're cooking and drinking that water there. Now we have 380 watts of solar on this unit already. So when you do turn your truck off, that solar is going to continue to charge your batteries, which in turn keep that refrigerator happy, keeps the lights burning bright and everything. It's nice to have solar and you've got two solar panels on this. Very soon there's going to be a, what we're calling, what Jayco's calling an Overlander 4 solar option, which will include four solar panels, two lithium ion batteries, an upgraded uh, converter, inverter, the whole package will really enable you to go longer uh, without another source of power. Also included in that package is a soft start AC unit. So finally you can actually run an AC unit from solar. That's coming in 2023 very soon. This is a 2023 model, but that option will be available real soon. Right next to the prep area, I've got a nice pantry also that's nicely lighted. Now all these shelves in here are fully adjustable, infinitely adjustable I might add, or you can take them out entirely if you want to put a, a taller item on the bottom. Really nice pantry. This is kind of cool. This was a liquid chalkboard out here so you can write your trip itinerary, uh, shopping list, whatever you want to do on here. It's easy to wipe it off. Now, um, here's a cool upgrade in 2023. Even in all the Eagles, we have the JBL sound system. These are JBL speakers, both here in the ceiling and out in the patio. So JBL everywhere. Really, really a nice upgrade from uh, the previous sound system that was in the Eagles. We do have a fireplace under here. So nearly 5,000 uh, BTUs of heat cranking out to knock the chill off of this unit. 
Um, it's a fancy space heater, so I wish our unit that we have personally had a fireplace. It's really nice to have that. You can turn it on just for some ambiance without heat coming out if you want to. It's nice to have that. Again, now we have smart TVs everywhere. This is an Insignia uh, brand television. It's Amazon Fire TV. It's already got shortcuts built into the remote for things like uh, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Hulu, things like that. Real handy. And then we've got a little bit of storage up here and we're already pre-wired with an HDMI cable if you want to put a, another component up, in, up on the top here. Now one change, another change I should say in 2023 is a USB ports everywhere. 22, we had USB ports here on the end of each uh, sofa, but you've got USB ports, more of them at different places throughout the coach, which is a thumbs up from me. Now this is a trifold sofa. So this guy pops out to become a bed. Haven't done this in a while, so let's do it here. Show you how easy it is. Pull those cushions off, lift up the front here and just pull straight out, drop the legs, and we have a bed. Drop this back down like so. Really nice, super easy to do, and it's accessible from either side. Um, my suggestion is bring a quilt or extra blankets. Every one of these seems a little bit higher here than it is here just because of the thickness of the cushions. I'd put some blankets and fold them two or three thick, put them in here to kind of level that off. But hey, you don't want to make it too comfortable for your guests, right? Just one or two nights and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time, right? So reverse order, pop that up, lift this up, fold the legs in, just like so. Man, I'm getting good at this, Brian. Okay, there you go, and we're back to a sofa. Now, speaking of reclining and relaxing, we have recliners here right across from the TV, perfect TV viewing angle. There's a little pull tab right here. Just give that a tug for recliners, reclining. They call this a wall hugger, so I can push back, and this will recline almost fully, uh, even though it's right up against the wall here. A little place for my remote controls here, light switch up here, and again, more USB ports right where you need them to charge your gadgets and so on. Now I have a table here that's expandable. Lift up here and pull this out. I have two more matching chairs under the bed up there. They're just like these except the, uh, they're folding chairs. Little secret storage under there for uh, coloring books and puzzles and things like that. More secret storage under there. Pop that in and away it goes. Nice light fixtures up here. These look very similar to last year. They may be identical. I have a little, uh, looks like a remote control, but these are shortcuts for lighting. So for your ceiling lights right here, pennant, dinette, and all exterior. So we're sitting down to eat, forgot to turn the lights on outside, boom, click that on, and there they are. Now remember, I can also do all this stuff from my phone, I'm not just limited to that. Have we covered all this uh, right here before we go leave this area? Uh, carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm here, it's safety. These things tend to be, historically, they're very sensitive. If your dog likes to curl up here and take a nap and decides to uh, slip out a silent but deadly one, it'll probably set that off. Hairspray will do it, loud cologne will do it, and I just think, uh, I don't know what else, but these are really sensitive and probably for a good thing. It's a safety thing. Pop that open, reveals your breakers and your uh, fuses up here, and they're all labeled here as well. Now on the end of this island is the water pump. So this is your fresh water pump. It's the little five gallon jug under here. This isn't your main uh, water. It's that little water pump underneath the sink. Now speaking of the, uh, this is an Android tablet. This is what controls the coach. This is sort of the brains of the coach. It's the BM Pro system. I can control my climate, lighting, motors, tanks, and energy all from this. Uh, you know, the lighting scheme is pretty fun. 
you can uh, you know drag this over to dim the lights in the living room at any infinite number of settings or turn them off altogether and back on again you can do all this from your phone these are also lighting shortcuts right here so if you come in and want to pop all the lights on or off just hit that ceiling fan uh, switch right here you'll see these uh, helix signs in a lot of Jayco's so this is the whisper quiet technology this is the way the ductwork looks inside the wall uh, ceiling that you can't see. It's a double helix pattern, not right angles, so there's less resistance on the airflow going through there. Much quieter, less fan resistance. Now, let's go into this office slash bunk room. Again, our door for this is right off the main entry door of the coach. I have a little desk here. I have a trifold sofa here that works just like the trifold sofa up front folds out to become a bed and then this has also got a little bunk for short humans up here now if you don't like this and you want this to go away it's easy to remove this whole thing toss it in your garage or in your attic till you sell the coach but if you have a child makes a neat little sleeping surface up there Again, trifold here. Or you might want to utilize it as a place to get away, make a Zoom call if you work from home or work from the road. Uh, you can put your monitor up here or mount a television right here. It's designed for that at that location. Have some drawer space here, nice little work area with current available and 12 volt and coax cable if you have a, have a TV up there. A little more storage up top there as well classy i like this i also like the door which is pretty stout and it, there's a there's privacy here this is does let light through kind of a frosted glass kind of a thing um, and then our light switch right here so neat little mid office mid bunk now we have a loft up above so let's take a peek at that so a couple kiddos could certainly sleep up there heck i'd sleep up there not a lot of headroom up here so you're going to be utilizing this either for kids to sleep or probably maybe storage. I'd get clear plastic tubs and push them up there so you've got a, a lot of sort of attic storage, if you will. Light switch right here. Now there is power up in the ceiling both on both sides of it. So again, you can plug in little phones and gaming consoles or whatever. It's handy to have that up here. Stepping into the bathroom now, I have a porcelain foot flush toilet, uh, a nice spacious step-in shower with a bench here on one end, glass shower enclosure, um, new for 2023, a much larger shower head, <laughs> okay, and uh, kind of a classy surround material, but I also like the fact that there's a bench here. Whether you're shaving your legs, I don't, people do, or you just want to sit down, uh, it's nice to have this here have an undermount sink and our little uh, vanity area here with the ever so popular blue color. Again, matte black, and then we do have a pretty sizable medicine cabinet with a backlit ring around it. Now up top here, I've got this really cool vent that's already covered. It can't rain in this, so you don't have to worry about putting a vent cover on this. It's already designed so that it can't rain in. So you can turn this fan on and not worry about having, uh, there we go. Coming into the bedroom, we've got a king bed. There's storage underneath this bed. Got gas struts here. And you'll find those two matching chairs, your rear camera assembly, your griddle for the outside, and your quick connect for the spray port right there. Pop this guy back down and you can see all the closet space we have up here. I have a motion sensor light here which is not turned on yet. It's a TV box that they always leave in here when we get it from the factory. You can see it's a Fire TV Edition 4K 50 inch, really nice TV. And then we can close these to enclose the uh, closet area. Now if you want to add a washer and dryer to this, you certainly can. It's prepped for that inside the closet area you can see the water connections coming up right there now i have smart tv in here too like i mentioned earlier got lots of storage here and as i mentioned early on we have a security camera option 
every unit's prepped for security camera and this has got it on it and this is your power switch for that. That sends power to all the cameras on the coach. So when you get to your destination, bring that little monitor in here, pop it right here or wherever it's handy for you and you can keep a full 360 view of the goings on on the outside of your coach. So hey, we're in a 355 Eagle. This is a really neat mid bunk, mid office floor plan personally fond of. If you'd like to learn more about it and you want to come out and have a look in person, we're happy to help you. Uh, if you have a second, go down below, click like and subscribe. You'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this one. As always, I appreciate you joining me and then I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.